welcome to my quick tutorial video on the Line 6 Helix and how to set it up for headphone use and practice. I've noticed kind of a common thread on the forums that a lot of guys are having trouble when they play through headphones uh, through a modeler uh, of getting it to be more inspiring and get it to sound less one-dimensional. So what I'm going to do is walk you through what I do to get more inspiring tones. And then I'm going to give you just a few examples of before and after just so you can get a direct comparison of how this sounds. Hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so let's talk about settings. Uh, basically all you're gonna need is a good stereo ping pong delay, and we're gonna put it right behind the amp and cab. And just, just a note of warning, this will not work if you put it in front of the amp or if you put anything mono after the delay setting. So if you put something like a mono reverb after the delay, it's going to squash that stereo right back into mono and you don't want that. Okay, so let's select the delay. So we're gonna go over to our delay settings. We are going to go up to the drop down menu here and select stereo, and then go right to ping pong. And now I'll just go through the settings. It's just a couple real easy settings, just to remember. Uh, you're gonna change your time milliseconds to 30 and your feedback to zero. We do not want any repeats going on here. And then the mix, I like to say this is to taste. So what I recommend doing is starting low and just kind of ticking up as you play a little bit, just tick up a little bit here and there and get it to the level where it just sounds good, but it's not overwhelming. You just want it to sound wider. You want it to sound more stereo, more three dimensional, but you don't want it to start overwhelming the sound. You're really looking for clarity and width here. Right, guys thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell talk to you later